Hey nerds, what's up? Today's video is all about the books that I've got over the last month of May. So let's get on into this. The first book that I need to show you, it was a belated birthday present from my friend Kathleen, who's going to be in the May your Welcome Universe live show and I'm so excited we all need to convince her to start a channel because she loves books and when we met last semester in the ASL class that we were taking together I told her that I made YouTube videos about books and she said you do booktube? So she needs to be a part of this community so please convince her but she was awesome and bought me the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban illustrated edition and holy shit guys it's so whoa, whoa, whoa. it's so good I'm so excited uh... ah! she also was kind enough to buy me a little um, I love you in sign language necklace and I've worn it a few times and posted it on Instagram and stuff and uh, it was so cute I loved it and thank you so much Kathleen oh, I love it so much and start a channel please the next book that I want to show you I ordered from the book of the month and it is Circe by Madeline Miller I have a book of the month subscription so this isn't like sponsored or anything but book of the month is really cool for $15 a month you get one adult hardcover book every month and you get to pick from four books that they choose for you all of them are book of the month um, like special printed and then if you wanted to add a second book or a third book they're ten to ten ninety nine each so book of the month is really great adult books usually are closer to thirty dollars like this one says that it would have been twenty seven dollars but I got it for fifteen and yeah so I love it and I also love that you get to choose your own book it also always comes with a bookmark um, and yeah, I just love that you can do that. And if you want to skip the month because none of the books sound interesting, then as long as you skip it before like the 27th of the month before, I think, you don't have to pay if you don't, if you're not interested in the books, you can say, oh, I don't want a book this month. And then you get to keep the credit and you can, it goes over to the next month. So then you could get two books the following month if you wanted to. So I think that that's amazing if you pay for it. I mean, if you want to not pay for it at all, then you don't get a an extra book the following month but yeah so anyway it's awesome if you want to get your first book for free I do have a link down below it gives you your free box free and then it gives me one free book the next time that I order so it's not an affiliation link or anything you can you once you sign up you'll also get a link um, so it's just for everyone to share so if you want to use that link to get a free box that'd be awesome because then I get a free book too so I am super excited about this book this is a Greek mythology book it follows um, um, in the house of Helios, god of the sun and mightiest of the titans, a daughter is born. But Circe is a strange child, not obviously powerful like her father, nor viciously alluring like her mother. Turning to the world of the mortals for companionship, she discovers that she does possess power, the power of witchcraft which can transform rivals into monsters and, the menace, and menace the gods themselves. Regardless of what this ends up being, I'm excited about it, so... That's what I decided to get this month from Book of the Month. Next books here I got uh, from publishers or from authors themselves. So I just recently posted a review for this one, and it was The Order of Nature by Jo The Order of Nature by Josh Scheinhart. And I was lucky enough to receive this from the author himself. I did a spoiler-free review, so it'll be linked up in the cards if you're interested in watching it. This book follows a male male romance between an American man who is staying in the Gambia and a Gambian man and that is a country in West Africa and there it is illegal to be homosexual and so if they are found out they risk like up to 15 years of prison and this is a book about them getting caught that happens in the first chapter so it's not a spoiler and very very important book I highly recommend there's a huge trigger warning for brutality abuse and rape in this story so just know that that is a thing before going into this but I really enjoyed this book and I hope you guys will pick it up the next book I got I did get from the publisher and that was the summer of broken things by Margaret Peterson Haddix this book came out in April and so I will be doing a review on this but I haven't quite yet and this follows two different characters 14 year old Avery Armistead is at athletic, rich, and pretty. 16-year-old Kayla Butts is known as Butt Girl at school. The two girls were friendly as little kids, but that's ancient history now. So it's a huge surprise. 
when Avery's father offers to bring Kayla along on a summer trip to Spain. Avery is horrified that her father thinks he can choose her friends and make her miss soccer camp. Kayla struggles just to imagine leaving the confines of her small town. But in Spain, the two uncover a secret their families had hidden from both of them their entire lives. Maybe the girls can put aside their differences and work through it together. Sounds really interesting. And the next two books I also received from Penguin Random House. So thank you so much, Penguin Random House. I am so excited about this. And I got The Ember in the Ashes and The Torch Against the Night, which are both by Saba Tahir. They are the duology that everyone probably knows about. And these are the new paperback covers. And I'm so excited to have them. <laughs> Still haven't read this, but man, I am about it. And these covers are freaking gorgeous. Okay, book Outlet Haul. So I just love Book Outlet. If you don't know what it is, it's bargain books online. Sometimes you can get really, really, really cheap books if you're willing to do scratch and dent, which means that they might have a messed up cover or something. But in general, if you buy the ones that are not scratch and dent, they're essentially brand new conditions, but they just will have a little dot. First book that I got was God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. This is the sequel to Never Night by Jay Kristoff, which follows Mia Cordebert. She wants revenge for the murder of her family, so she decides to join an assassin school to be able to do so and this is the second book and I've read the first one and I'm really excited. Next book I got was A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab and this is the third book in the Darker Shades trilogy. I've read the first one and I don't own the second one. This follows an alternate universe version of reality where there are three Londons. One is our normal London where there's no magic and it's just normal people and then there's White London which is like deadly and scary and dangerous and magic is being seeped out of them so there's like everyone is really crazed and then there's Red London which is just thriving and magical and perfect and then we follow our main character named Kel who can jump between them and no one else can. <coughs> I just saw my life flash before my eyes. It is amazing <coughs> what I'm sure is just the tiniest amount of spit can do to your lungs. <laughs> Moving on, next book I got was Station Eleven by <coughs> Emily St. John Mandel. This is a adult novel and it has stickers on it. Pissed. I don't actually really know what this book is about. I've been meaning to pick this up for so long and man, this is a nice little floppy flop. Once knowing Arthur Leander, a famous Hollywood actor, dies on stage during the production of King Lear. Hours later, the world as we know it begins to dissolve. Moving back and forth in time from Arthur's early days as the film started 20 years in the future, when a theater troupe known as the Traveling Symphony, Symphony roams the wasteland of what remains. This suspenseful, elegic, spellbinding novel charts the strange twists of fate that connect five people. This next book that I have here is Moxie. I'm still dying. Moxie by Jennifer Matu, and this is a book about a girl in high school set in present day. She lives in this small town and the jocks of the school are super sexist and smack each other, smack girls asses all the time in school and so she sets up this zine to basically stand up against them anonymously and so cute. I love this book. I got it from the library and read it a few months ago. I believe this was one of our um, Biblio book club picks. I can't wait for it to be on my shelf and I can't wait to take these fucking stickers off. They're staff picks. I've never seen that before and I'm not about it. Last book that I got here was Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. Macklemore, right? I believe that this is a magical realism book, which sometimes is not my favorite thing, as we have learned. Don't really know what this book is about. I definitely cover bought this, and also hyped on booktube bought this, so we'll see. Those are all the books that I got in the month of April. I'm pretty proud of myself. The only other one that I have here, I think I am, actually might have mentioned it in March, but I got from the library Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner, which is the April book of the month for Sassy Book Club and our live show is on May 7th at 3.30 PST. Join us for that if you want. It'll be here on this channel. You can find all of the links for the Sassy Book Club Twitter and Goodreads and all that jazz all down below. Follow Murphy as well. She's amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you want to go ahead and click that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I post a video. Which should be on Mondays and Fridays. And comment down below which of these books I should read first because I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye! I wish I